Welcome to another Minecraft video. Today, um, what we'll be doing is I have stashed around here in my chest downstairs, over here to the right, um, a few treasure maps. Not these very treasure maps. And so, what I'll be doing this episode is just try and find them, you know, be a pirate for the day and explore around a little bit more. I mean, as you can see, I also have a map of. Uh, what's this? Is empty map. Okay. So, I have a map here. Okay, that one's off somewhere far away. Have this map. Which one is it? This map. I have like a map which. Hmm. Oh. Okay. I don't know what's happening there. Either way, I have maps and I will be going on an adventure to try and find the buried treasure and report back. Now, something I've noticed as well is apparently TNT now blows up treasure chests but leaves the treasure in them so I'm just going to be testing it out, I already tested it but since I have so much buried treasure I thought I might as well test it out properly and actually blow up some stuff because they are quite hard to find so see you um, when I start exploring <laughs> okay just before we start let's see how my AFK iron farm is doing it's doing quite well um, obviously I have uh, I'm lagging one second. Obviously, I have uh, checked it before as well and took out any new iron. But I just thought, once you start this episode, it would just be nice to explore around and come back and see how much iron I actually have. So let me just put this in my iron chest. As you can see, I have a lot of iron now, which is great. And let us go for our first adventure. So, all right. Let's see, let's just use a random map. This one. Where am I? Oh. That is far. Let's choose a that's closer. That's also far. That I've actually been to. Let's see if there's one closer because that dot is small. I have actually have checked around that one. Let's see this one. No, this one. Okay. Okay, so that's not f too far away. So this is going to the east this way then. Now what is useful? Actually, I didn't bring my actual map. Okay, never mind then. I'm also going to grab one of my boots. Okay, see you when I get close then. Oh yeah, I am actually getting close. Anyway, see you then. Okay, so apparently the treasure is around about here. So this, by the way, is quite close to my house. If I just uh, increase this, you can see my house is... Okay, you can't really see, but yeah, you can see my farm, which is automatic. We'll talk about that later a bit more. It's an automatic sugarcane farm. But I'm now basically standing right on top of the cross. And what I unfortunately learned is that um, the cross is basically just an indication of around about where the treasure is. Oh, what happened here? Oh, did I shift click? I think I did shift click. Okay. Can I pick that up, please? Thank you. Bang. Okay, if just stand back, and this should give us a rough indication of where the treasure is. So it is not here. And obviously, during this process, I can get loads of blocks. I'll use those blocks for my um, recent project, the big iron farm, which I am actually now really happy it works. It's like the biggest project I've ever done in Minecraft. Oh, nope. Okay, soon I might actually need more TNT. Let's dig this way. Because it is usually, I believe, under sand. Okay, that doesn't work as well just because of the sand. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I think we need to do some digging, so I'll... Oh wait, here it is. Cool, whoa. That is good stuff, and I get some TNT as well. And an iron sword, which... Nice. Prismarine crystals, those are for Prismarine, funny enough. Just most, I am still using, and a heart of sea, obviously. And I am still using... Uh, actually, what do, do I need? I suppose I don't need this map anymore, but that's in my offhand. I need that. Hmm. Anyway, as I was saying, oh. Uh, now, 
I could have obviously killed him, but I honestly don't want to start a raid now. Just because uh, I have better things to do. The raid episode will be coming in. Uh, Soon-ish. I have a plan for the raid in this big. But, yeah. So, so we got some good loot from that. We got some nice uh, iron. We got some emeralds, gold, the good stuff, hard to see. What I do need though are diamonds and saddles or a saddle. But just having a look at my sugarcane farm, essentially what is happening is is a detector here. This oh yeah, force it. Mm. That that doesn't really work out. I can't pick that up. But there's a detector here. As soon as the sugarcane grows up, then the detector because it senses a change in the state, sends a signal. Pistons push this both sides and then the sugar cane falls down into the hopper. Unfortunately some of the sugar cane falls down into this here, the dirt here, so it doesn't fully collect everything. But we can just go and check. We obviously have my farm which I slightly messed up. I have chicken, cows running around, you can see how much food I have just from slaughtering animals to uh, have it work. Either way, so successful first trip, I believe. Let's put this stuff away. Um, well, we have loads of stuff to put away actually. Blocks for days, which is good because I need blocks. My last adventure cost me a lot of blocks. Just some building, etc. Okay, uh, prismarine crystals. Oh, I have them in treasure. Okay, so I suppose now on to our second. Now before we do get on to our second, as you can see I am currently level 26 and I would like to get to level 30 because um, oh come on stop lagging because I have a level 30 enchantment for fortune 2 it's like an enchanting book and I would really like to get a fortune 2 pickaxe just to get all that stuff so I'm going to do some monster farming today I won't go too far away from my house just because it's um, it's good to be close to your house. I can always run back here. It's quite safe, actually. Let's just take out our dog. I don't usually use my dog. Let's take out the nether rack as well. This is also useful. I don't need actually to do this. Just do this. The very treasure maps. I will put back. Cool. And I get this gunpowder as well, which I can use for CNT. The biggest. Mobs that are a problem are skeletons. Creepers are okay because you can just run around, but skeletons are difficult to fight just because their range. Oh, I didn't take out any arrows. Okay, so what I'll do then, just so I don't lag like I am now, although, I, hmm. although the lag isn't too too bad, I'll just uh, I will um uh, stop recording. That's what it is. First, let me just get a kill, so you can see that I'm good actually. Oh no, what dong? Yeah, I can't play with this lag. Okay. Oh. Okay. So see you soon. Okay. So as you can see, it's now daytime, and I'm around halfway to level 28, which is good. Um, so maybe like a night, another night of fighting. I mean, I didn't see anywhere near the same amount of mobs as. The ones that came when I tried to build this farm, which is kind of funny, haha, <laughs> very funny. Either way, um, as you can see, we got more experience. As I just said, our dog was actually quite useful, but I'm still not taking him out on uh, this adventure just because I don't want him to die. I might start like, a dog breeding initiative afterwards, like where I get another dog and then we start breeding them together just so we can get loads of dogs, but not now. Okay, so let me swap this here. I uh, don't really need the gunpowder. Let's put this back as well. Nope. Let's put this in here. Look how much chicken I have. And how much steak as well. I mean, the farm's been good. I remember at the beginning of the series when I barely had any food. But obviously that's all gone. That's changed. I have loads and loads of food. Okay, let's see. I need to go southeast of this direction. Approximately. So, uh, it seems like a really, really long journey. So, I'll join you um, when I actually get there. Ok, 
Okay, I'm still recording it turns out. Cool. I doubt that the actual treasure was really, really far away. So perhaps that's for an episode where I properly explore. But uh, meanwhile, I did find, you know, a couple of jungle temples. Or like a jungle temple and a few... I forgot what it was. But I did find a desert temple, not a jungle temple. And I got two saddles. And I found myself a really fast horse, just to demonstrate how fast it is. And um, this was the fastest of the ones I found, by the way. Oh. Oh, there we go. He is fast. I don't know if it's a he or she, but uh, we'll say he for now. He is fast. He's the fastest one I found. Uh, obviously, again in the long run, I'll try to get the horse breeding program. I might actually get a mule as well, but I don't see like the point of the mule apart from the fact they're rare. But all I'm noticing now is night time, so I might as well get some more levels. As you can see, I'm quite close to level 30, and I can get that fortune too. My sugarcane farm isn't really doing too much. I mean, is it? Now, how does it work with sugarcane? Is it like um, what governs the rate of speed of growth, etc.? Because it's literally everyone apart from, or nearly everyone apart from the one in front of the detector is um, fully grown. Which is funny. What's well, also good because that means like it's sort of like I don't know. I prefer it that way. Okay, so I'll see you uh, soon, I suppose. So, I died, as you can see, and I have uh, less levels, or fewer levels. So, I might as well, at this point, just explore a little bit. So, like I said, the previous treasure was seriously, seriously far away. So, instead, I'm going to go for the ones I see here on the map. So, that means I need to head to the northwest, which is exactly the opposite direction to where I headed off before. However, luckily, I do have a nice fast source this time. Okay. So it's a couple of days later um, in real life and I found another treasure map as you can see and I'm right around where the treasure is but of course there's a problem of first of all um, the lag and also it's night time and I have no idea at all well, no, where the treasure is and there's loads of water so I can't uh, like blow up loads of stuff because it won't work obviously with water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and find this, um, and I'll see you then, I suppose. Okay, so despite searching for like the whole night, I can not find anything. So what I suppose I'll be doing is just going to another treasure because I own oh, no. it. Because I honestly, like, this is such a bad spot to find the treasure. Like, there's so much water and everything. So I'm going to take my horse. Uh, ooh, so we don't need this. Let's see, what is this treasure? Where's this treasure? Oh, it's also one of them. Okay. This one I was already searching for. No. Okay. Alright, well, you know what? I figured because I really don't like... Um, I don't really like searching for treasure. Um, I might as well just search around for other forms of uh, chests, etc. Because I really do need to find... Um, just... I said saddle, but I also I already have saddles, obviously. But also things like um, uh, let's go up here. Things like uh, diamonds, name tag, just the normal kind of stuff. Oop. So I already found loads of um, uh, underwater stuff. So let's try and find something more exciting, I suppose. One second, where am I in relation to? Now I'm going back. No, let's just go somewhere else. Okay, see you when I find something then. So here we are inside of another, of another ship and see a chest. Nothing interesting though. Like, I honestly want none of this, okay. Well, sorry for wasting your time. Oh, oh, that's me, okay. I thought it was my horse. Okay. Let's go and find something else then, I suppose. Aha, so finally we found something interesting, which is a pillager outpost. Now, here's the thing. I don't really know whether I want to necessarily fight the pillagers right now. But, where's my fence gate? Okay. I thought that had a fence post. So I can put my horse down. Everything you don't do, so I'm going to put one here. Cool. But, um, I was about to say, um, since I'm here, and there's nothing really exciting going on in this episode so far, I might as well fight them. Now, my sword's about to run out. This is my pickaxe, this is my bow. But, there is a temple behind it. Mmm. Now, I don't really fancy going to fight this straight up. Actually, I can make I thought it was going to say, because I don't have a shield, but I can make a shield. So, no excuses on that um, point. Let's actually take a 
Okay. Just so I can see the coordinates. So if I die, I know where to come back for my stuff. There are also turtles there, which is nice. Um, okay. So, let's do this. Let's get the shield out. The shield. There we go. Hi, turtle. He's super friendly. Of course, the turtle farm is in the making. Just wait a bit, you know. We literally... The things that we have to do for this like episode to be counted as not like a success, not episode, sorry, series, but like for the series to count as success, we need to have loads of stuff going on, like loads of buildings, etc., farms. I already have an idea for what my next episode is going to be, and it's um, hints farm related, but it'll be exciting. Um, or at least exciting in the sense of survival, exciting. So hopefully, automating loads of stuff now. This might be too low for the uh, thingy for me to be safely up here. Okay, let's see. Now, of course, you might not like the fact that I'm playing this super safe, but I mean, this is tactical right here. Like, for example, you know, games like Splinter Cell, where you play it safely, safe and stealthily. Uh, it's fun because it's tactical. So, this is what I'm going to do playing it tactical. Now, hopefully, I'm above there. Um, sensitivity range. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Is he drawing back his crossbow? He does seem to see me. There's a chest and the thing. Alright. Let's see. It's going to be super tactical. Look at that. Really tactical. If I fall down, it will be the end. And they do see me. I don't know why they're not shooting at me. Oh, 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 oh what the? What the? What happened there? Okay. That was scary. I just, for some reason, like, morphed into the block. Um, okay. I see, they do notice me. But they aren't firing at me. So I can only hope that I am too high because a crossbow hit would be painful and then me falling down that would be really difficult on my health so okay let's go down let's block off the staircase cool okay well i've got a crossbow um you know fairly useless well she's not useless but like okay i just say i am actually disappointed by the loot so far today um but Never mind, we have a desert temple. Now, I want to skirt around the desert temple. But they see me. You know what? Let's just, uh, to annoy them, let's, uh, how do I take this? Obviously, you need to burn this afterwards. But, uh, oh, you can hear them as well. Oh, no, shut up, man. Um, for one of the episodes, I'm going to dedicate it to a raid, um, but first I'm going to set up my raid defences, and uh, as you say, for that kind of stuff, I have a big plan. It's going to be big, hence why it's a big plan, but it'll actually be quite interesting. I'm quite, um, you know, it'll be good. Uh, again, I don't want to spoil this because it's actually going to be kind of, like, hopefully it's going to be a good uh, idea. And essentially the whole thing is what I'm going to do, is going to tie in really nicely to what um, my future episodes are on, if you get what I'm saying. But obviously this will be quite um, apparent once I actually start recording the episode. Okay, so, because I don't like them, I'm going to burn it. Okay, alright. Is my boot still here? No. Alright, so what I might do is I might go around their island or their tower. Alright, let's swim out of the way. Right, and we can't finish this game, uh, finish this part without shooting one. Okay, I missed. Wait, is that a well? Oh my god, that's a well. Whoa. Like, unlike Desert Temple and Desert Villages, they're really well hidden, aren't they? Look at that, look at that. Whoa. That's nice. Uh, 
it's a thing where oh there's a chest underneath actually real oh 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 no okay well i nearly drowned for what but at least the pillager tower is um on fire that was quite it's burning quite nicely actually that's what they deserve for being as nasty people oh uh, no turtle that's my actually no that could work out i'm going to do a turtle farm now obviously that's uh, again in the future get some turtles going okie dokie where are the pillagers? oh there's one Okay. so like i said I don't really, i'm don't i not really looking for a fight with the pillagers especially since my sword's about to run out um, and then i need to fight their captain and i don't want to start to read just yet i do kind of want to go out and you know enjoy the villages and then we'll start to raid whenever just so i can say i've done it obviously now it's night time um, night time in uh, the desert is very very dangerous perhaps more dangerous than usual oh that's exactly what I mean let's just hope there isn't another creeper oh please that's too close last shot hopefully <sighs> okie dokie oh dear okay this is this is good oh, please don't fall please don't fall please don't fall ah for goodness sake I died <laughs> oh no okay Okay, fine. Guess I'll have to find my way back then. Luckily, I took a picture of my coordinates, or took a video of my coordinates, so... I suppose I'll have to make my way back. See you then. Cool, cool, okay, I recovered all my stuff, which has been very annoying. But, luckily now, we are at the Desert Temple Good, the trapdoor still... Oh, sorry, the... thingy. The plate is still there. So of course let's get rid of that, and because I'm going to be Essica, I'm going to get rid of all the TNT as well. Cool, okay. We are safe for now. Let's see. Ooh. Is it is that Udo? So I'm breaking. Okay, let's just let's, let's get that. And then we also can gunpowder. That's always useful. Can I have the gunpowder please? Thank you. Take that. Another one of those. Oh. That. Protection one. Again, it's not like the best, but you know, I could do something with it. And quick charge too. That's actually useful um, when I'm using my crossbow because that makes it actually half like usable. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back up there, go back home, and uh, I'll see you there. All right. Apparently the pillagers are still spawning in. So spawn in, spawn in. Oh dear. Thing is, I don't really want to fight them right now. Um, so I'm gonna. Oh dear, I say so, but okay. Unlucky. Um, um, um. Oh, he didn't even do that much damage. I, I'm all like, to be careful, need to be careful. But no, he didn't do much damage. Anyway, see you at home, I suppose. Cool, cool. So I am back. I've ripped back, and I am now uh, with my horse here because I kind of rush back to sleep. And. Uh, before this episode ends, of course, I would like to check my own fine. So, before it has been a bit, you know, iffy whether it works or not, etc. Sometimes iron gomes don't really spawn, and then, okay. Come on. Okay. Somet uh, sometimes iron gomes don't spawn, and sometimes they spawn loads of them, etc. So, let's just see. Whilst I've been out exploring how much iron I have. So, remember, this is iron I gained without actually doing anything. 23, not bad, not bad. Okay. Mm. So obviously, you know, it would be nice to have loads and loads, but this is great because it means I can just do my episodes without actually having to focus too much on. Uh, let me find somewhere to put him. Focus too much on uh, mining, etc. Where my resource is going, like you can see, my arm is running out. But I don't need to think that. Okay, now I need to mine some more iron to get some more armor. So that's good. I missed. Okay, so anyway, thank you for watching this uh, episode, and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, stay tuned for some more episodes coming soon, hopefully, and uh, goodbye.